Oh my god, I just saw the prettiest butterfly. <laughs> Why is that sad? I don't know why I reacted like that, but it was really pretty. Sorry about the lighting. It's like 7.30 and um, as you can probably tell on my voice, I'm pretty tired. But today's Tuesday. It's the 1st of December. It is like my birthday week. I don't really like do a birthday week, but um, my birthday is on Thursday. So the 3rd of December. I work that day, which is great. But yeah, I'm just going to kind of show you in this vlog what I do to prepare for an event or like something special or like just going out even though I tan every week so it's not that big of a deal but I just thought I'd show you like how I prepare for that what I use to take off my tan I'm just gonna take you through a few days and I'll just show you what I get up to along the way I'm going to get my nails done for the first time since like the second lockdown I also got my hair cut you probably can't tell but I got like little curtain I mean they look awful right now I'm still like going off when they did my hair from the hairdressers, um, which was Friday, so Saturday, Sunday, Monday, like four days ago. Um, but yeah, they cut in like little curtain bangs, but these are like quite long. They're still so I can tuck it behind my ear if I if it's annoying me or whatever, so it's not too short. But I might go shorter next time, so I'm a bit excited for that. Uh, but yeah, and then I just got like a normal like trim. Nothing major. I, guys, this tan is disgusting. I did, um, like two layers of two different tans <laughs> last time I tanned, which was last Wednesday. I don't know why I did that because I definitely didn't need to do that and I was way too dark and just felt like gross. By the way, I don't know if these look too orange, but these are like the Tanologist tanning drops, um, in medium. And I read the reviews and a lot of people said that like they're really dark so I only use like a couple of drops which I did and I mixed in with my moisturizer and everything but I feel like it made me look really orange. I'm not sure. I'm procrastinating. So let's just go get on with the day. Okay, I decided to have a shower after I made my coffee. Um they haven't been that great lately. Excuse my hair, just shoved it back so I can eat and um, drink in peace. So the salsa caramel. Hello. Fiber one bars. I don't know why, because that was a big like lemon and like the cinnamon one. I haven't had the cinnamon one in ages. I should probably buy them. They're quite expensive, but they're really good. So yeah, I'm just going to eat this get ready i'm not really gonna do much to myself um but yeah it's a really gloomy day today really like gray skies um i think it's meant to rain but it's still a bit humid i hate dressing for that type of weather but oh well i am finally back it's like one o'clock now um, these are my nails exactly what I wanted so pretty they're just like a light pink color um, I went into Kmart and just some I think Chemist Warehouse as well I'm gonna do a quick haul while my bath's running quickly so got this misting fan from Kmart um, I feel like I just need a fan I don't know why so I got that I got these um, hair like roller things because you know TikTok made me do it I got, so from Chemist Warehouse, I got another set of them as well. Came out, we're really sold out of them. Um, so I didn't have enough to like do my whole head. So hopefully that will be enough. Um, I got this charcoal exfoliating mitt from Latan, which I'm going to use today. And then I got uh, bobby pins also from Kmart. I got this Vaseline spray moisturizer which I've always wanted to try. <laughs> and then I got more of my normal body moisturizer, which is the Palmer's Coconut Oil Body Lotion. So that's all I got. And I'm going to show you what I take off my tan with. Okay, the bath's running. Sorry if you can't hear me properly, but this is what I've been taking off my tan with. Oh my God, it's nearly empty. It is the Mind Tan 
cleansing tan eraser. So that is what I'm going to be using now. Um, I'm going to put it on, leave it on for like five to ten minutes, and then jump in the bath and wait for like it's kind of like soak off my skin all this disgusting tan. I am itchy. <laughs> I am out of the bath now. Um, I have been for like a good half an hour at least. I tried to get as much of my tan off. I definitely got like a lot of it off. Um, not off my face because I'm gonna like do a full skincare thing tomorrow. I'll cleanse my face tonight and stuff, but I'm gonna like really go in there tomorrow. So hopefully that will get like most of it off. And then I'm gonna have another bath tomorrow as well. So I've been having bath Tuesday and Wednesday um, to try and get my tan off so yeah because I feel like it, just doing it in one session never really helps me like I feel like I still have a lot of excess on so I'll do it like Tuesday afternoon and then Wednesday morning um, and then give my skin like most of the day to breathe on Wednesday and then I'll tan um, like late afternoon-ish on Wednesday because then I would normally work Thursdays uh, but yeah so that's what I did. I used that Mind Tan Self Tan Eraser. Works like a charm. You must leave it on for like 10 minutes and then you must stay in like warm, relatively warm water for like 10 minutes as well and then start scrubbing. Hello guys. I am, so I was just wearing my new glasses. How cute are they? I don't really look that good in them. <laughs> um, but they're actually helping with my eyes, which is really nice. I've been watching YouTube for a while. I actually, what have I done today? So it's Wednesday today, so it's the day after. Um, I literally had another bath. Tried to scrub off the rest of my tan. It's not all off, but it's just going to have to do. Um, and I'm going to tan tonight, and I washed my hair today. Um, what else? I picked up my car because it went in for a service. I prepped my dinner. I made sweet potato wraps myself um, with a recipe I saw off TikTok and uh, fried up some chicken and some veggies for like a fajita thing tonight, which is going to be my lunch for tomorrow. And right now, uh, my last goodness me box has arrived um, and I'm just going to show you what's in it because I don't even know what's in it. And since it's the last one, I thought might as well open it. It's very heavy. So that's what it looks like. If you guys didn't know, oh my god, my freaking candle lighter has been in the way the whole time. So let's open it. Let's get out. I'm gonna cry. It's the festive box. This has, from what I can already see, I wanna eat everything. Oh my god, I'm not even going to look at the card that tells you what's in it. We're just going to dive in. So, the first thing I saw which made me want to cry is gingerbread collagen cookies. This is by the brand um, 180 Takes and Low Keiko? <laughs> Low Carb Keto. So, that's what it looks like there. I am definitely going to make these. Oh my god. Stop. I've been obsessed with these. I didn't even know these existed this type. But this is... The Table of Plenty Rice Thins with Dark Chocolate and Coconut. Oh my goodness. But these Skinny Dipped Almonds by Munch Me. Raspberry Dusted Dark Chocolate. Oh my god. We've got this Kez's Kitchen Brownie Bar. All natural fudgy chocolate. <gasps> Stop. I've always wanted to try these. These are the Panna Organic. Um, chocolates. This one's in mint and this one's in orange. I've got this organic kombucha by Remedy. I've actually tried Remedy before um, in wild berry. I haven't tried that one yet though. I've got this all natural Mediterranean couscous, tomato, olives and zucchini seasoned with herbs and garlic. Oh my god that is amazing. This is my favorite box that I've ever gotten and I've ended it on a high note which is really nice. Love that. Okay, I'm going to get back to doing nothing. Um, and I'll update you guys when I'm tanning as well. I was going to wash my makeup brushes, but I really can't be bothered. And I'll show you what dinner ends up looking like too. So, see you guys then.
we are about to tan um that's why i look a bit disheveled i've just put my hair back i don't know what's happening to my face i have exfoliated cleansed did a face mask and it's still like these tanning drops no joke like they haven't come off properly um possibly i'm gonna ruin my face by putting fake tan over it later um but oh well so what i use at the moment is the palmer's coconut oil body lotion um i'm really finished this one this is what i put on my like hands knees and feet um and some and my elbows and sometimes like my armpits they can get really dry when i put on fake tan i look scary um i'm gonna use a combo of the one hour express aero by bondi sands and the ultra dark one i was thinking i might just do like two layers of this but i don't think i have enough for that so i'm just gonna combine the two um and i literally just i really prefer the j bronze mitt over the bondi sands one i really have to clean my tanning mitts because they are disgusting so this is my before color obviously i mean i didn't get all my fake tan off as you can tell okay i've now tanned hopefully you can like kind of tell um this is what my arms look like try not to flash you but this is what my legs look like as well i did two coats on my legs i don't know why um but yeah that happened and i didn't do two coats on my arms or anywhere else so if it looks funny i'll do like another coat everywhere else like the next day like tomorrow but for now i can't be bothered because yeah i just can't be bothered i have to go wipe off this tan off my nails because i feel like it's going to stain i always forget to do that so i'm gonna go do that and then i'm gonna go watch some nashville i think so i shall talk to you tomorrow when i'm 23 I'm not 22 anymore i'm getting old but yeah hopefully tomorrow is a bit of a better day so i'll take you along and good night mm. oh <laughs> oh no it's a bit bright this is not a good idea okay there we go good morning wow i look a bit tragic um i'm yet to wash off my tan look what happened don't know if you can see but like i didn't rub it into like this part of my hand awesome not a big deal um i'm gonna go wash off my tan now it's my birthday happy birthday to me it's such a beautiful day this morning oh my god um it's supposed to be like my favorite weather it's like 23 which is like not hot and not cold um and sunny so i'm very pleased with that um but first i'm gonna open my next day on my trolls advent calendar it was kind of limited to my choices of an advent calendar because i could not find them anywhere which is shocking um but number three is right next to number two so i'm really useless oh my god i just opened like 10 doors i don't know what i want for breakfast i'm thinking maybe like an egg like a toasted egg sandwich i have a bit of time before work because I don't start till 10 and it's currently like 7.30. Mind you, had the worst sleep. Come on. I've opened the door, but... Oh, there we go. Mmm. Yummy. Beautiful. I'm going to go have a shower and make some brekkie. Don't know if anyone else is up. But yeah let's go and start the day okay it's a bit late now it is nine o'clock um i had breakfast by myself i've kind of been by myself the whole morning that's fine i'm quite content yeah i just got ready i literally put sunscreen on curled my eyelashes put a bit of like eyelash serum in them brushed my eyebrows did my hair i was gonna try and like do something with these like bangs but don't really have the time and i'd stress myself out so i just curled it i'm gonna wash it anyway tomorrow again 
um, just so it's ready for Saturday. Um, and I'll try and do like a cool like TikTok thing with them. Like use those rollers and stuff. Guys, why don't I see your glasses? It's really unfair. I'm really sad about it. I'm gonna get dressed, go to work, work. And I don't really know, what else? Um, we're going out for dinner for my birthday though, so I'm excited, bye. Hello, back in this spot again. Oh my God, this looks actually really funny. Um, this came in my boyfriend's card that he gave me. Um, we're just gonna take it off. I thought it looked cute, but it doesn't. Still wore it though, so that's fine. Um, last night, well yesterday, I went to work, came home, um, went out to dinner with my family and my boyfriend, was amazing. I don't have any footage from that because I couldn't fit my camera in my bag and then I was just having a good time so I just didn't video anything. Anyway, thought I'd show you what I got. I didn't really like want anything specific this year, it was really hard. Um, when like people ask you what you want, I'm like, <laughs> I literally don't know because I buy stuff for myself um, throughout the year. So, yeah, um, we'll start off with like food. <laughs> so, apparently, I love Maltesers, which is a very true fact. So, my friend from work got me Maltesers and Krispy Kreme little donut bites, which I'm really excited about. Um, she also got me did i not bring that with me oh no i did she also got me the cutest little thing of um daisy by mark jacobs this is the daisy dream i don't know if you can see that whenever i edit it and i do this i look stupid because you can see it so clearly so hopefully you can see that but you just open it and it's like a little it's like the perfect size for your bag um so i really really love that i love it then from my boyfriend I got this set of cute pajamas these are from bras and things and they're just like a navy set of PJs my room's an actual mess um because my boyfriend's staying here and all his clothes and everything are everywhere he also got me <laughs> which it's funny because I just chucked out all this type of stuff. But it looks a lot better than what I had anyway. It is this like slicer. <laughs> it's so random. I like opened it. I was like, what the heck? How did you know that I needed something like this? It also got me. Sorry, the light's really bright. But this is the only place I can like film. So he also got me this trio of like candles. He mainly got it for the pumpkin spice. The other two are a bit like they're not really like my type of scent but they're really cute so this is the pumpkin spice one this is by nook and nook and burrow oh my god it's amazing pumpkin spice nutmeg vanilla and cinnamon oh it's so amazing and so cute i have a collection of candles that i'm trying to get through try to burn like one a day for a couple of hours can this dog shut the fuck up he also got me the cutest oh my god i'm blind i can't see oh, i just wrecked everything he got me some mrs Phil's cookies yeah so he got me chocolate chip which is like my favorite the chocolate chip from subway is my favorite chocolate chip cookie ever this lighting is so bad i'm really sorry um and then he got me oh it's a bit greasy underneath but he got me a little like um I'll show you. this cookie here he it says i love you and it's m like our favorite cookie it's a snickerdoodle cookie so i'm excited to have that and i love the tin it's really cute and then last but not least um he got me it's gonna be hard to show you because my christmas stuff's on it at the moment which is like not a real vibe but the louis vuitton catwalk little um like coffee table book which i really wanted and i'm really shocked that he got that for me so that's really nice um and that's something that i will keep like forever i know they're quite expensive but i'll keep it when i move out or when we move out um and yeah i'm really happy to have something like that I feel a bit grown up. 
just dropped a candle <laughs> really great my parents like i live in my house rent free i don't really have any pressure um which is really really nice and they still spend money on me so that's real like i'm really grateful for stuff like that first <laughs> another pack of maltesers so <laughs> there we go i'm fat um they got me this satin tanning bag um this is from cotton on i really needed one of these because i feel bad because mum does the washing still that she has to clean my sheets with all the fake tan on it like every week um so this is really good it comes with a tanning bag with a built-in pillow slip and this is just in the black version they got me the cutest thing to hang up on my wall this is from target i'm pretty sure um and i just want to hang it because my walls are pretty bare sorry my bed's not made or anything but like my walls are really bare over there so i really want to hang something up somewhere there which will be really cute they the last thing they got me oh and they also like paid for dinner last night which is amazing um they got me this peter alexander dressing gown and i did not think i'd like a long dressing gown i'll put it on because it matches <laughs> um but i love this i just really needed like to feel well it doesn't really match like perfectly but it's close enough um i wanted the stuff like this and i think it's so cute it's the one that has like the little um dog on the like breast area and yeah it's quite long i wear my leopard one quite a bit and it's like the only summery one i have i have another navy like um like really comfy one that's more for like winter um but yeah okay so i'm gonna end this vlog here i'm really sorry about the lighting again <laughs> um but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this few days in my life. Birthday edition. Um, yeah, this is like real chill. I'm not someone that needs extravagant things. Um, so yeah, I'm grateful for everything that I got and everyone that I got to spend time with. And yeah, I don't know if I want to put on another layer of paint. This is my issue. I'm insane. Okay. Um, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Uh, all night whenever you're watching this hopefully you are watching this hopefully someone's watching this anyway catch you guys in my next video bye Mwah.